Hello everyone, this short video is going to uh, derive the rule for a numerical integration known as Simpson's Rule. Uh, the thing with Simpson's Rule is that we model uh, the area under a function as a segment, a short segment of a parabola. And in order to uh, define a parabola, we need three points, three values. So, uh, for convenience, I'm going to split this function into two segments and the three points of interest will be these points here. Uh, this one will be, I'm going to say, designate this as negative h for the uh, coordinate on x, zero clearly and positive h. It's important that the width of these segments is equal. So this point would have coordinate negative h and then the I'll call the y value of this one y naught. The point in the middle here would be 0 and y1. That's that point there. And this point over here would be positive h for x, and I'll call that y2. So these are our three points of interest, and I'm going to be modelling that short segment there with a parabola. So we start with the general equation for a parabola. y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And of course, because we're looking for integration, we're wanting to know the area underneath this function bounded by the uh, lower and upper uh, terminals here and by the x-axis. So we know that the area is calculated as a definite integral from, in this case, negative h to positive h of ax squared plus bx plus c dx. The advantage of using a parabola is that it's a very simple integral to perform. So power increases by 1 and divide by the new power. Constant b, power increases by 1 and divide by the new power. Constant c, multiplied by x, divide by the new power. It's power of 1 divided by 1. I'm just writing that to be complete. We didn't, wouldn't normally. And our limits are minus h and h. Substitution will give a h cubed over 3. That's the problem. Plus b h squared over 2 plus c h. Substituting negative h. Remember, a uh, negative number cubed is a negative result. So this is negative a h cubed over 3. Squaring will become positive, plus b h squared over 2, and this is minus c h. Evaluating, uh, subtracting a negative, this becomes a positive term. There's another one here, so it's 2 a h cubed over 3. Uh, subtracting this term, which is identical, will disappear. Then subtracting negative ch is like adding, so it's plus 2ch. Normally we factorise this. We take a factor of h over 3. Uh, this will leave 2ah squared from our first term. Now the factor of h has disappeared. Uh, what would we need as a coefficient multiplied by c so that one third times this mystery number equals two, it would be six. And that, that I'm going to call equation one, and I'll be coming back to that result a bit later. That is how I find the area. That's the integral under a generic parabola between two points. And for convenience, I happen to choose a two points symmetric with the origin. That's just a little bit of a trick, but it's quite general. It would work with any particular because we've got h, the width of the segment, um, a and c coefficients from the parabola. So it really didn't matter that I chose those. That was just to make my algebra slightly easier. Now I need to solve for the values of a, b and c in order to use this formula that I've just designed. Now how do I solve for those? Well, I take three coordinate points, substitute them into my formula to solve for a, b and c. So let's do it. Substituting our first point, I would have y naught 
equals a. Now the x coordinate was negative h, so that's squared plus b times negative h plus c. That simplifies to a h squared minus b h plus c. The second point where uh, we had y1, the x coordinate was zero. So clearly the first two terms will be zeros. It literally, it's y1 equals c. That's handy. And y2, similar to the first, it'll be a h squared plus b h plus c. Now my job is to solve these things simultaneously. It looks like there's three equations and three unknowns. It's not as bad as it could be because we have directly that y1 uh, is equal to c. So I'll just note that down here already. c equals y1 from equation, our second equation. Notice that these two equations have a term b, h, but they're equal and opposite. I think if we add the first and the third equation, we'll eliminate that nicely. So y0 plus y2... we'd have ah squared plus ah squared, that's 2ah squared. Uh, as I noted, these terms cancel, plus 2c. Fortunately, we have a result for c here, c equals y1. So I'll substitute that, y0 plus y2 equals 2ah squared plus 2y1. And then I'll move all of the, uh, I'll move the 2 y to the other side, so and I'll transpose slightly. 2 a h squared equals y naught minus 2 y1 plus y2. Now if we pop back a moment to our area formula, we had 2 a h squared. 2 a h squared in terms of the y coordinates of our three points we had C. We have C in terms of this. We can substitute into equation 1. We can substitute, let's call this equation 2, and let's call this equation 3, and we will substitute uh, 2 and 3 into equation 1. So equation 1 was my area formula. It equaled h over 3. Now, sorry, it was just off the top of the page. So where I have 2ah squared, I'll put y0 minus 2y1 plus y2. Where I have plus 6c, I'll put plus 6y1. h over 3 y0 plus 4y1 plus y2. Now this is what we need. This thing is going to tell me the area underneath that function approximated by a parabola between three points. All I need to know is h, the width of each of the strips, and then y0, y1 and y2, the y coordinates of the points. So I can easily find those, either by substitution into a formula or by measurement. Uh, sometimes these things are just done by measurement. And that gives me the, uh, the first two strips. Now, if I want to go more than two strips, and let's face it, we probably should for accuracy, we just keep adding more and more and more of these on successively. So I'll uh, explain what I mean on the next page here. This video is becoming slightly longer than I intended. So let's imagine we have a number of thin strips here. Now, the, because this was based on working in uh, two strips, we're going to have to make sure that we have an even number. So these two here, we could apply Simpson's rule. Then the next two, we apply Simpson's rule. Then the last two. Uh, again, this one, we would call that x naught all the way up to xn. 
the Y values, we would start with Y0, Y1, Y2, all the way up to Yn. So let's just start writing this down a little bit. Our Simpson rule said yeah, a area equal to H over 3. Now for the first three strips, we had Y0 plus 4 times Y1 plus Y2. For the next three strips, I'd have H over 3. Now, the next strip begins with Y2. And then I'd have four lots of Y3, and then I'd add Y4. The next strip, continue, just imagine I've got lots of them. The next strip would begin at point Y4. So Y4 plus four lots of Y5 plus Y6. And I'd keep on doing this all the way up until I finished with Yn, the last one. N, remember, has to be an even number. Uh, so what would this look like? There'd be 4 of Yn minus 1, the previous, and then there'd be Yn minus 2, two steps back. Now how do I combine all of those sorts of little things into a single rule? Notice that the h over 3s are the front uh, are the same. So our area would have h over 3 at the front. Notice that y0 appears once, yn appears once. y0, yn. They appear once at the start and the end. Now what about these other ones? Well, 4 times y1, 4 times y3, 4 times y5, 4 times... All of these are the odd-numbered ones. So I have 4 times the sum of any y value which is odd numbered. Now, how about the evens? Y2 appears here and here. We'd have two of them. Y4 appears twice. We'd have two of them. Y6 would appear twice. Every even numbered one would appear twice. So we'll have 2 times the sum of the even numbered y coordinates. This is the most general form of Simpson's rule. This is what we'll use in solving problems. And this is literally how your calculator does uh, integrals when you type it in. It splits the um, area into uh, probably a thousand or more thin strips. And then it applies this formula and calculates it all and adds them all up. First one appears once, last one appears once. Four times the sum of the odd y values, two times the sum of the even y values, multiplied by the width of a strip divided by 3. That is Simpson's rule. And that's enough for one video.